You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. But here's an important article. Let me just read this before our time is consumed here today. And it reads, Fox News legal expert says, of course, there was evidence of conspiracy between Russia and Mueller's report. And um, it says, and I quote, the attorney general has opened up a can of worms, unquote. Neapolo, Neapolano, Napapolantio, what is his name, said Wednesday. I think it's called Neapolitano. Yeah, Napolitano. Napolitano said Wednesday in a Fox News digital segment of Judge Napolitano's chambers when he, being barred, said in his four-page letter that the government cannot establish the existence of a conspiracy. He meant it could not establish it beyond a reasonable doubt unquote, the legal expert said, who formerly served as a judge of the New York, New Jersey Superior Court. He argued, and I quote, they did find some evidence of conspiracy. Of course they did. If they didn't, he would have told us, unquote. He asserted, continuing his explanation of Barr's letter, the judge said that its wording opened the door for further investigations by Congress. The judge continues by saying he explained that it encouraged critics of the president to demand Mueller's full report to be made public, as well as the release of thousands of pages of documents from the probe, unquote. But this is a judge. He's a, he's a commentator on Fox News. He's a part of the Fox News group and family. But he is saying there was evidence of a conspiracy. There was evidence of obstruction of justice. But as a judge and understanding the legal procedures and decisions that were, that were before uh, a, 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 a special counsel uh, Mueller, that he presented his papal, uh, his work in such a way as Congress would make the final decisions on this. And he's absolutely right. Um, you know, these people are running around and Trump running around talking about he's completely exonerated is a bald-faced lie. I might also add, I've been watching the, the polling number of, that has come out regard, since Trump, since this, uh, this report has been issued as to whether or not Trump's approval rating has gone up or gone down as a result of Trump now saying he's been exonerated and Bill Barr now saying that Trump has been exonerated, though we, what, Mueller never said that. And we don't, we haven't read the report yet. I think once we read the report, we're going to find a lot of damaging things within that that the Congress is going to pick apart. And, and Trump will not last much longer. He'll commit suicide once that report is released and, and, and the oversight committees and the judicial committee and the inter intelligence committees of the Congress get hold to interview both Mueller and Bill Barr. But, you know, Trump's polls number did not go up. You would think that it, because all the hullabaloo is that Trump has been exonerated. He hasn't, and people know it. Before the report was released, Trump's poll numbers, were, approval rating was at 41%. That's before the, 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 the Mueller, the four page summary was released. His poll numbers, approval rating was at 41%. His disapproval rating was at 54%. That's before the report of the summary of the report issued by Bill Barr came out on this past Sunday. Now that the report's been out and a three day survey has been taken and a poll, Trump's poll numbers has gone from 41% approval to 42%, which is negligible, which would mean it hasn't really changed. His disapproval rating has gone from 54% up to 55%, which means effectively it hasn't changed. So the report did not bode well for Trump. It didn't change his approval rating. Even Trump supporters, even the Republicans are saying that 70% of Republicans said that the report did not exonerate Trump. And a large amount of Americans, 56% of Americans are saying they want to see the full report. That the full report, which could be as much as a thousand pages, need to be laid out and all things examined. 
And I think at that point in time, the, the Congress can make a decision about whether to impeach Trump or whether to move further. Mueller may have been hamstrung by the idea that you can't indict a sitting president. And Trump may have been affected to some degree with all of the slamming and the, all of the accusations of a witch hunt and that Mueller being conflicted that he decided not so much to punt, but to present the evidence and let Congress make a decision. Bill Barr, who campaigned to be the attorney general, who campaigned on a thesis writing a 17 page report going back four months ago, stating that a sitting president could not be indicted, nor could a sitting president commit obstruction of justice, is what Bill Barr wrote in his 17 page letter that caught the attention of Trump and Trump brought him in. So when, when, when Mueller presented the, the, the 700 page or the 1,000 page or the 2,000 page over a 22 month investigation, Bill Barr took it on his own to say that there was no collusion and that Trump has been and that there was no obstruction of justice. But I don't think that's going to stand. And it isn't what Mueller said. I think Mueller himself is going to have to be subpoenaed by the Judiciary Committee. And, I, and, and, they, I, and Gerald Nadler is going to subpoena Mueller. After the report has been read, he's going to call him and ask Mueller, what exactly what did you find? Was there evidence of conspiracy? And the answer, according to Judge Napolitano, uh, Napolitano, that's the name, Napolitano, uh, Napolitano says, a Fox News commentator says, yes, there was tons of evidence of conspiracy, tons of evidence of obstruction of justice, tons of, tons of evidence of collusion. And this is a Fox News reporter saying that, and he's absolutely right. Everybody knows that collusion took place and obstruction of justice took place in plain sight. We all saw it go down. Trump meeting with Lavrov and Kislyak in the Oval Office the day after they fired James Comey. Trump Jr. saying the uh, woman who offered dirt on, on Hillary Clinton, saying if you got dirt on Hillary, let's have a meeting. I love it. Trump standing up and said, WikiLeaks, if you got the emails on Trump, give them to me. That's collusion in, in, in plain sight, and everybody knows it. So we'll see how this, in, this, this matter fully develops, but I can tell you this, that it ain't over with yet. And even the Trump supporters know it ain't over with yet. And I think Trump now is attacking health care as a diversion. He knows he's got no plan to replace the Affordable Care Act, but to keep people from talking about, because the more you look at Mueller's report and even what Barr has said, Trump is guilty of collusion, conspiracy to commit collusion. His son, son-in-law, daughter, are guilty of conspiracy to commit collusion. And Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice. So he's trying to change the subject by now putting up this smoke screen about he's going to kill Obamacare, leaving some 20 million people who have pre-existing conditions without health care. It's nothing but a smoke screen. And Trump is a master of, of that kind of event. So I think it's important that we understand that. Uh, you know, in nine months, I think Fox News and Judge Napolitano, I'm glad that he understands that process and that there are others that are coming forward to refute Fox. I don't see Fox making it past nine months in terms of pro turning a profit because advertisers are not gonna advertise on Fox News. Advertisers are not gonna advertise on Fox News that is advocating throwing 20 million people off of the healthcare uh, program with pre-existing condition. Most of that 20 million people uh, that watch, that, that, that are on the, have pre-existing condition, no matter whether they, they can still get healthcare, when Fox News and Sean Hannity and that Fox crowd say that Trump should throw away the affordable health care program, they're not going to watch Fox News. They're not going to watch Fox News because these people have issues with drugs that cost nine and ten and twenty thousand dollars a month. And if Fox News is advocating on Trump to destroy uh, 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 the Ob Ob Obamacare, 
Ain't no way you're going to still support a news agency that's saying that you can't get medication now. You or your child has got to die. I give Fox News nine months before they have to fold or close their doors or somewhere close to it. They may have to use reserve revenue because nobody's going to advertise on Fox News. And that's where we are. And that's who I am. I'm, if you want to know who I am, I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant. And hallelujah. And boom shakalaka goes right there. Dr. Manning has a powerful word in his mouth for all people. Tell your family and friends to listen to the Manning Report daily.